Alright, this video is pretty much going to be talking about PHP 8 and what we're going to need to do in, between now and November to address the 7.4 to version 8 uh, switchover. So, to give you a little background here, every, every two years or so, a version of PHP dies. Um, what's going to die uh, this upcoming November is, it, at least what I think is going to die, is version 7.4 PHP. And I, I remember the big push, pushing everyone from PHP 4 to 5 and then 5 to 7. Um, and to be completely honest, going from version 5.6 to 7.0, that's where I saw a decent amount of things breaking um, I'm not seeing as many things breaking when I switch from 7.4 to 8, but there still are some things that are are breaking. And it, it, to be completely honest, fixing it is not too hard. Uh, if you understand, it, it's mostly a syntax change. Um, so, you know, your code that you wrote or someone wrote, it, it doesn't take that long to fix it's just debugging it and, and spending a little time I mean you obviously have to know PHP on how to do it but most of it that, that we've run into is just a syntax change and it's pretty quick to fix the, the problem is is that the majority of people don't know how to do that so let me just give you a little little background why why this is happening and it's it's nothing it's nothing new um, we have here on php.net, and this is something that I look at somewhat regularly. To, I mean, it, it doesn't change. You can see they've had a pretty s standard uh, release um, date. Basically, what, what happens is something is released. So let's take, for example, PHP 7.4. It's released in November of 19. You get basically two years of releases under that. So 7.4.0 comes out here, 7.4.1.2.3.4. You know, and it goes all the way up. And then after two years of that, it goes into what's called maintenance mode, and it people won't add features or or anything to it it or I should say at that point features aren't added what's added are bug fixes um, and so this is just 7.4 is released and they fix things fix things fix things for two years and then you go through one year of they only fix stuff if it's a security hazard uh, or a security risk and then after the third year of the initial release, they stop releasing fixes for it. So if a known bug is released, so if you're running PHP 7.3, and you and you you have a, you've got some security risk, in, you know, in here. If you you're running for six months with a unpatched version of PHP on your site. Right now you're good if you're on 7.4, but coming November you need to upgrade to version 8. And one of the ways to do this, or not to do this, one of the things that you need to do is make sure that your plugins are going to be compatible with version 8 and your theme is going to be compatible. Uh, WordPress core, WordPress itself, is going to make sure that it's compatible right now version 8 works and I think 8.1 works there might be some a couple bugs in there but I think it's that's that's working now so WordPress itself is fine your what you need to worry about is your theme make sure that your theme is compatible with version 8 and if you if you bought your theme hopefully you didn't buy it on theme forest um, because they don't normally update uh, things quite as well as as things like if you have the beaver builder child theme or theme 
or if you're using Genesis or some kind of well-known core, that's that's going to be safe and up to date. Um, you just run the update, do do a backup, of course. And then the second thing are your plugins. Make sure that you're not using obscure plugins, uh, plugins that aren't maintained. Um, and and trust me, I have a plugin that I don't maintain um, that, that I've I've released. Uh, it's kind of hard to do that uh, to main, maintain everything. Um, but just stick with some of your core, you know, plugins and make sure that those things are being maintained and you should be fine. Um, I'll always make sure that you have a staging environment and test version eight before you make the switch. But right now is the time to start thinking about your website and what, how to handle the upgrade from 7.4 to 8 because I think it's going to be, I'm not trying to scare people, but I think there's some, some precautionary stuff that needs to be done. Um, trust me, I've, I host a couple hundred websites and I, I see some of those sites in there too where I know that it works on 7.4 and doesn't work on 8 and I'm having to reach out to those clients and say, hey, you know that website that we built six years ago? Um, well, it's no longer compatible um, with with this. So, kind of going down that path myself. Um, so, so do those things. Uh, keep your eyes open for uh, the the cutoff. Um, I don't know if WordPress will uh, come November if they're gonna if they're gonna cut it or not. My guess is that they will. They keep this up to date. So, my guess on in about five months we're going to see this number uh, bump up. All right, good luck.